Welcome back. Get your sweet tooth ready. Halloween is underway. The Fitchburg Public Library is introducing kids to candy science this Friday. And News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Chuckle joins us with a preview. Good morning, Eden. Good morning, Adam and Charlotte. Now, uh, if you're looking for something creative to do with all that leftover candy you'll be collecting pretty soon, uh, Kelly Witt from Fitchburg Public Library has the answer. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what do we have here? We have some marshmallows for the first part of this experiment and a microwave in a microwave safe plate. So that's all nice. that you need for this experiment. Okay, so what are the steps? You are going to take your marshmallows. I'm just gonna do one and you put it into your microwave. So what's going to happen is it is going to expand. Parents might not like the idea of this experiment, but it's usually mm -hmm. not too messy. So you can set it for about 30 seconds and the marshmallow gets bigger. And you were talking about, I mean, as we're watching that get bigger, you were saying that it's really important to get young kids interested in science, and that's really why you're putting this event on, right? It is, yeah. It's really important that those STEM technologies to get kids excited and interested, figure out what they want to do with their life, and just get them interested in learning. That's really what we're doing mm -hmm. here. And this is the first event that you guys are putting on like this. It is, yeah. So here's been 30 seconds. And you can see it is much bigger. It's going to be very wow. hot, so be careful. Yeah. So what's happening here is inside of a marshmallow, there's sugar and air and gelatin. And the hot air, as it gets hotter, expands and makes the marshmallow get bigger. So once it gets bigger, it, um, it kind of makes this goo. And then as, it gets, as it's cooling, the hot air leaves and you're left with kind of a marshmallow goo. It's going to be kind of wobbly and look way different than a regular marshmallow mm -hmm. looks. What do you do with the Milky Way? So then? the Milky Way is also made of a substance like marshmallows inside of it. So you can put it back in the microwave. 30 seconds as well? 30 seconds as well. Okay. Yep. Depending on the size. Okay. So for this one, we'll just put this one in. So what happens here is chocolate actually doesn't melt in the microwave like that. Mm. Um, so it's going to kind of crack open and bubble out kind of like a volcano. So this mm -hmm. one's really cool to see. Um, and it kind of creates the same kind of goo. It's fun. But remember, be careful because it, it's going to be very, very hot. Nice. And this event is on uh, Friday, yep. the 30th yes. at 3 p.m. And then you have another event on November 19th, right, at 6 p.m. Yes, yep. So, oh, so lots of go. fun stuff. So it's a, uh, as you... If you put it in a little bit longer, it can kind of goo more, but you can see it's starting to crack open mm -hmm. and um, get Just a eat them together? Bigger. Well, you might not want to eat this. It's kind of hard <laughs> yeah. and yucky. You could probably eat that as it cools. Um, sure. But the same thing is kind of going to get harder because the air that's inside that makes it good and fluffy is going to be gone as it escapes. So it's not awesome. going to be the best. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. And awesome. we'll go to the next experiment pretty soon. Perfect. And again, this event is on Friday the 30th at 3 p.m. And then they have another event on November 19th at 6 p.m. Adam and Charlotte, it might be something you want to do with your kids. Can we use a, a different kind of candy than Milky Way? Because I love a different, my Milky Ways. You don't Ways. like Milky Ways? No, I love my Milky Ways, and I just don't want to mess it up. <laughs> That's the point. Maybe we could use the candy that you have in your drawer for everyone to oh, grab. I just checked. There's not a whole lot left. I was waiting for the <laughs> oh, Halloween come leftovers. come on, Adam. Yes. I was waiting for the Halloween yeah. leftovers. Oh, it'll be replenished on Monday. Don't you worry. All right, thanks, Eden. Um, Appreciate I'll look it. For it. Well, looking for creative ways to prepare your candy? Kids at the Fitchburg Public Library are going to be learning about candy science on Friday. News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Chekel is there at the library with a preview. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. Now, what's a better combination than candy and science? I don't know if there's anything that no, beats that. I agree. Here to show us a few more experiments is Kelly Witt from uh, Fitchburg Public Library. Thanks for being here today. Yeah, of course. I'm excited. So let's get to it. What are we doing now? Okay, so this is an experiment using M&Ms and water. Probably everyone has M&Ms <laughs> in their Halloween bag. So what you do, you take a little glass of water and you arrange the M&Ms by color. And you pour the water pretty slowly into the bowl. And don't pour it on the M&M's, right. right? Don't pour it on the M&M's. Aim for the center, maybe? This is all about color and density, so we are just going to be going slow. So right away, the colors on the candy are going to start dissolving. Mm -hmm. And when they do that, they form puddles of color on the bottom of the bowl. They do this because the sugar water in the color is more dense than the water. So they kind of spread out to the side. They push the clear water away. And what do you think is going to happen when they meet? You would think that they would mix, mm -hmm. right? But they don't. They form 
perfect lines. Look at that, all the primary colors. Yeah, because they're the same density, so they can't push each other out of the way. That's and they just form this cool. beautiful pretty art neat. project. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to move it though, because otherwise they start to yes, mix. Yes, eventually they mix. Water molecules will always are always moving, so. And what was it that we had here? Because this is pretty interesting This one's too. really interesting too. So this is also using M&Ms in water. We did this a little bit beforehand. So when you put the M&Ms in water, everything dissolves eventually, but the M's, you can see them on the surface, those are not dissolvable in water. So those kind of just come up and float on the surface. So crazy. That crazy is Crazy really to think crazy. about. Yeah. Well, this is fun. I mean, it's it's a fun, um, inexpensive way to get right. kids, again, involved in science. Right. And you guys have some other events coming up as well, right? We do. Yep. Um, on November 14th, we have a really awesome Lego program. It's just drop-in. It's, again, one of those STEM programs. It's not necessarily lead, but you come in and you build using our awesome stash of Legos. So that's really fun and, and popular. Kids, kids of what ages? Of what age? Um, mm -hmm. Pretty much as soon as your kid is not eating Legos anymore, <laughs> you can come and have fun and yeah. um, build with your family. So it's a fun family event on a Saturday afternoon. Awesome. But of course, the event that we're looking forward to right now is the one that's this Friday on the 30th at 3 p.m. Come here at Fitchburg Public Library to learn all the fun uh, candy science experiments. And for parents, it's kind of a nice way to get your kids to do something fun, but also not make a mess at home, right? Right, right. There's nothing like making a mess somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Kelly. Yeah. Back to you, Adam and Charlotte. <laughs> nothing like making a mess somewhere yeah, else. I love that. I, I like that um, idea. And, and Eden, real quick, uh, Charlotte is in mourning because she loves those blue M&Ms. So she doesn't want you messing with the blue Don't mess with the blue. Oh, shoot. See, Charlotte loves her blue M&Ms. Mm. Oh, All okay. right. We'll try and save you some. There are plenty. Plenty. Uh, I'm sure. Like the peanut butter. I've got a big stash in my desk as well. <laughs> Thanks, Eden. Welcome back to the program. It is 644 on a very rainy Wednesday morning mm -hmm. here in Wisconsin's capital city. Good morning. Welcome back to News 3 this morning. Um, Fitchburg Public Library is blending science with candy this Friday. The Candy Science Program offers fun science experiments that you can actually try at home. News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Checkel is testing some of them out right now. Hi, Eden. Hi, good morning. I mean, Halloween is this Saturday, and pretty soon you'll probably have bags and bags of leftover candy. You might be wondering what you should do with all that. Well, Kelly Witt from uh, Fitchburg Public Library has the answer. So we're going on to our third uh, experiment here. What are we doing and what do we have here? We have carbonated water or you can use any carbonated beverage. We have Pop Rocks. These are a little bit hard to find. I found these at the dollar store. <laughs> um, a balloon and a kitchen funnel if you have one. It's easiest to use this but you could also fill it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your Pop Rocks and you're going to just open one side of them and then you're going to take it and put your funnel inside of your balloon and pour your pop rocks in. You want to use the whole bag. Sometimes you have to tap it mm. to get it in there. So once you have a balloon full of pop rocks, you're going to open up your beverage. Make sure it doesn't Slowly. explode first. Yeah. I'm shaking it around. And you're going to hold the pop rocks down at the bottom while you put the balloon over the top. Make sure it's all the way around. So um, now we can pop? start. We can uh, pour the Pop Rocks in to the drink. And it's going to make our balloon Look at that. inflate. Is the balloon going to pop? No, the balloon will point. not pop. Okay, I was trying to prepare myself for some noise. So there's a rumor <laughs> that has been going around for a lot of years. Will you explode if you eat Pop Rocks and drink soda at the same time? And this shows, no, you will not. It just maybe will cause you to burp. There you um, go. Air in your stomach. So there's um, condensed carbon dioxide in both the Pop Rocks and the soda. But um, this shows us that most of the carbon dioxide gas is in the soda and not the Pop Rocks. Because the Pop Rocks alone, if you pour them into water, aren't going to make a balloon inflate. It's just going to cause a little bit of bubbling. Love that sound. And really, I mean, what do kids get out of this, out of something like this? So, so far with the experiments today, we've learned about density, and we've learned about how hot air expands, and now we're talking about carbon dioxide gas. So it's just an introduction to some of the simpler science things that you're going to learn in school anyways, and it makes it fun. Who doesn't like experiments? I mean, we're all scientists. We all want to learn about the mm -hmm. world. So this is a fun way to do it. Um, that's very, very inexpensive. 
and not really very messy. So right. It's just fun. And many of us love candy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. And again, uh, this event is on Friday, the 30th at 3 p.m. Come on down to the Fitchburg Public Library. It's an event that you don't want to miss. Bring the kids. Adam and Charlotte? Do we have to bring the kids, Eden, or can we just come ourselves? <laughs> That's the real question. Yeah, right come on down. Hey, mm -hmm. I don't have kids, and I want to come on down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we, have, we have video of the kids with Pop Rocks, and for <laughs> the first time, it's, it's pretty special. Oh. All right, Eden, thank you. <laughs>